Yes, the Cobal Alliance has ratified the ceasefire with Cylon Command. The peoples of Helios Gamma, Delta, and Beta will see no more violence from today. This is our opportunity to create a long-lasting peace for all the people of Cyrenus. There's no way that conniving Dagger worked all this out by herself. How do you know the Cylon hasn't been in on it all along? That's the only way they could have done a black op of this scale so quickly. I was not involved, Praetor. And it was not quick. Do you know how long it takes for a broadcast transmission to reach Helios Alpha from Canceron? Of course I don't. 1,413 hours. Assuming perihelion and relays are set to zero loss throughput. Indeed. Admittedly, that is too long for Minister Winutu to maintain operational security from data loss. A more viable minimum delta of 48 hours is possible using a relay just outside of Helios Alpha. What's your point, Clothos? Colonial Fleet's betrayal was architected well before President Russo had left Libran. So, what do we do now? Our moral duty, Lieutenant. It seems we... No. It is evident I had forgotten that. Colonial Fleet was created to protect our people. That hasn't changed. We fight for those the Kobol Alliance has left behind. This is a war we can no longer win. Maybe we never were going to win, but we can still help those who can't defend themselves. And in doing so, we leave a fire to guide anyone who follows after us. It started, Commander. Lachesis is rerouting all of its forces to Helios Alpha. PyCon is already at breaking point, and Geminon was ready to roll over the moment when Nutu signed the treaty. The Cylons are using Geminon as a staging ground to strike at Caprica. They've got orbital nukes to clear any fortification the army makes, and shock troops to smash through whatever's left over. Kane wants us to intercept the strikes on Caprica City, the largest population risk on the planet. Both her and Sarkis are coordinating with ground forces to mount the evacuation plan. Hopefully we can keep the city together long enough for the civilians to get out. Sam and Admiral Sarkis have already transferred to Galactica. They both wanted to be on the front line for this. Between you and me, it makes sense to keep Sarkis and Kane separated. In case of a decapitation strike, I mean. Kane is trying to fix this situation, Commander. She's got our people's best interests at heart. We're in the right place, even if it might not feel like it. Prepare to jump in three, two, one. Jump complete. Cylon units across the board. It looks like they've only just started to hit Caprica City. Commander, stop those nukes from reaching atmosphere. The people down there are relying on us. We won't forsake them now. Launching fighters. Hostile marks on the board. 
They'll try to spread us so thin that we can't cover all of their angles. We'll need to contain them as best we can. Coming in from Vergon OBC. They're requesting a private audience. Put him on speaker. Whatever he has to say, you can all hear it. Lucinda, this is. A, it was not supposed to happen like this. You have to understand, I never intended for them to go this far without you. You should have told me. You've sacrificed one third of the colonies. And for what? A fleeting moment of insecurity? It is one year that can be used to negotiate a lasting peace. We tried our best to make colonial fleet work. But you can't be blamed for the weakness of others. The weakness of others. <laughs> Fitting that's the last thing I should hear from you. Cut the call, Lieutenant. This traitor has taken enough of our time. So say we all. Missiles incoming! Missiles incoming! Commander, this isn't going to be the last either. The signal patterns are the same as every other mass troop movement we've seen.
thought they were so inactive. Sir, more Dreadus contacts. I'm also receiving lots of civilian requests for evacuation coordinates. They want to jump out of the system, but the Cylons are taking down the local Idris networks. None of the civilian jump computers can handle the calculations by themselves. We can make the calculations, though, correct? It'll take time. I'll need help from somewhere. Like Clothos. Bring it up here and plot a course for Cocalus. Broadcast the jump coordinates on an open channel as soon as you have them and have the fleet prepared to jump directly after. But the Cylons will also know where they're all headed. So we'll need to make sure that we are already there waiting for them. We can't do much more for Caprica City now, but we can at least ensure anyone who was already off-planet can make it to the treaty systems. Spool our FTL drives and prepare for jump. Why is this taking so long? Lieutenant, we can use my host's processing power to filter out the non-essential orbit calculations. It will, however, require a direct interface with your jump computer. Yeah, that is not going to happen. How many civilians do you estimate can be evacuated from Caprico with your broadcast? I don't know. Assuming the embassy checkpoints and orbital stations haven't already been evacuated, depends on the amount of air traffic already out, whether anyone will enforce launch restrictions. Just give me a number, Lieutenant. Rough estimate, 200,000. Do it. Give Clothos access to whatever it needs. Better that we save 200,000 than all wait here to die. complete with 98.72% correctional bias. Broadcasting coordinates now. Stragglers are almost done spooling. Prepare for jump in 20. Jump in 12. 11. Lena, we've got a problem over here. We can't come with you. 9. 8. What? Galactica, repeat. I didn't hear that right. You heard properly. We've got problems with our FTL computer. I think the Cylons have got into it somehow and Tech can't flush them out. We can't make the jump. No, 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 no. Sam, fix it. You have to come with us. We can wait. I'm sorry, Lena. You need to go. We'll catch up. Jumping in four, three... Sam, don't leave me again! I love you. Jumping fleet.
Yes, Commander. 